First, a local family is looking for justice and demanding transparency. This after a bulldozer crushed 40-year-old Aaron Henderson. He worked at the Polk County North Central Landfill. This happened March 4th, and right now you're looking at video from Sky 10 today. It shows you the area where he typically worked. According to investigators, the bulldozer operator was driving up an embankment to park for the night when it ran over a porta potty. Henderson was inside of that porta potty. Lawyers for his family are now calling for charges. 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Clo is live outside the Bartow Courthouse. Shannon, what are they looking for here? Well, Courtney, what they want is justice, and they want that in the form of criminal charges. So we had the family out here, as well as several officials who are representing the family. And what they said is today they are calling on the state attorney's office and the Polk County Sheriff's Office to look into this as negligence. They say up to this point, there is no proof that the bulldozer operator did this on purpose or was intentional, but they do say that they believe if he was following the rules, if he was following his training. He, this whole entire accident could have been prevented. An accident is what the Polk County Sheriff's Office has referred to it as. So this investigation continues and the family was out here. They were emotional. We had Henderson's brother, his sister. We're told his mom's in the hospital. They were all crying out here. And now the officials are saying what they need in this case is justice. Inexcusable and negligent. OSHA has strict guidelines that prohibit heavy machinery operators from moving forward or operating a machine without being able to properly see in front of them and on the sides of them. There should have been no reason why this bulldozer operator decided to operate this bulldozer without a spotter. And I did reach out to OSHA. They just got back to me in the last hour here telling me they are investigating this. They called it to me a tragic incident. We have also reached out to the Polk County Sheriff's Office. They say they're waiting on the autopsy. And as for the state attorney's office, they tell us they have not received a case submitted by the Polk County Sheriff's Office. I also reached out to the company Certitemp. That is where both of these men worked. I asked if the bulldozer operator is still an employee, and I also asked if they think they're needs to be any changes made after this case.